Yeah, like I said, like, like before, like, I don't know, I come from like playing punk, black metal, like uh, crust and shit, like a punk milieu. And then just like grew up to be like mature with some fucking reggae shit or whatnot I was doing. And then like, nah, back to black metal. And then like all this like basically uh, obscure fucking black metal shit, I think, shaped my uh, music to start. And then I was like, well, but trap is kind of like black metal, and then like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, yeah, I don't know. nice trap. Yeah. Comparison, yeah. Trap is kind of like black metal. What do you mean? No, no, no but it, you know, like, it is. I like, it, I think it's something with trap. Like, I think there's something, for example, with Travis Scott to like, you know, mm. like, the shit he does. Like, he's a fucking plastic industry monster, I think. Mm. But like, but he's doing this rocker thing, like, uh, or, like the, you know, uh, the, 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 this like new music for the kids kind of thing. That's like. It has this, you know, the darkness, the kind of grittiness, like mm. the kind of self-destructive shit. But the guy who mixes and masters his shit is in, was from rock as well, right? What is his name? Like Mike Dean or something? Yeah, yeah, like yeah He yeah. used to do... No, I think Mike Dean is like South Side shit. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. isn't he like this old, you know, guy with long hair who used to do like... The no? old, the old... They all? Oh, the oh yeah, I see. Okay, okay. Nah, Mike Dean just smokes a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. No, no, but it makes sense though. It makes sense. I see what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, and then like we met, and I think like I'd never met hip hop before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I personally grew up with uh, rock and roll a lot. You as well, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking rock just band just like I mean, my father basically only listened to that kind of shit. So, like, but like a lot of the mainstream stuff as well, like Oasis and The Strokes and. Like the Beatles and the Stones and shit, which was pretty cool. I did like a lot of concerts with my dad and like, yeah, saw a lot of shit like Canyon and stuff. Like stuff from everywhere. Always liked it a lot. And I don't know when I was like... Wait, you went to Kenya? No, what no, you no, no. I saw like groups from bands uh, and shit yeah, from yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, when I was like 15, 16, I got into hip hop by my friend. And I don't know. Found it like the lyrical part of it was talking to me more than anything else, to be honest. Like, it's like, I mean, it makes sense for someone that is like 16, something like that, to hear rap guys talking about, like, you know, growing up and it's complicated. I mean, that's the main message <laughs> be behind, the, behind the whole, you know, the whole lyrics and whatever. Now, lyrically, I think it's like, lyrically, I'd say that I'm mixing hip hop and rap mostly and like, that's what I like about it. Like, yeah, as you're saying, the darkness of, you know, rock has always been that thing about like guys being drunk, high and sad and ro like rocking, writing songs about that woman or whatever. And rap is like kind of hiding, but it's the same shit. Like those no, motherfuckers all talk about love, you know? No, but again, stop like... Stop lying, <laughs> stop lying. You all talk about love, that's what the thing is. Oh, it spoke no. to me, I like it. Straight up. Yeah, like stuff like, I don't know, I came, I came, like, stuff like NERD were speaking a lot to me because they were, like, actually using instruments at crazy production and at the same time, well, fairly kind of rapping, I guess. Mm. I don't know. It was the perfect mix for me. I don't know. I started with that NERD shit. And mm. now I'm like, yeah. Like, guys like Ishon in France are, like, just killing me. Like, lyrically, that did is, like, pff, insane. And, like, love it. It's show is crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah, straight up. It's got like yeah, it's got look fucking good lyrics and good beats and that old Bongaman stuff is running really well. Like, but it feels as if as you know, Ishon as well is is kind of is part of this of our generation of yeah, people who, who are doing this cultural hybrid kind of thing. Absolutely. Uh, uh, straight up. Even when he's doing hard or what you call hard rap, he's still presenting it in a way that is uh, not you know the generic way. Yeah, right? he has exactly. A very, yeah. explorative way of, of making his music yeah. that is that just fits makes yeah, sense yeah i guess yeah i guess that's why it speaks to me then man. yeah straight yeah, up absolutely. straight up yeah no nah, I, mean, I i grew up with like you know congolese afrobeat shit <laughs> that, that, that my mom used to play you know like lucky dube as well some south african uh, reggae shit so i think like hip hop for me was just because you could dance to it like that was, you know, when I was 12. Like groovy, here. like no, not nuts and shit. Like, you know. No, like, you know, like 50 cent in the club. Yeah, yeah, when, when, yeah, you know, yeah, when, yeah, that, yeah. when that shit came out, everybody were, you, you know. You can dance too. <laughs> everybody were doing crib walks at the small parties when we were 12 and shit like that. 
and and that's that's why I, I liked it more than other shit because most of my friends were maybe listening at that point. Fuck, I'm getting like, the fifty cent shit in my head. No, it was like you know Backstreet Boys, Westlife, and and yeah. and you know like what was it called? This punk, you know. Uh, Psalm 41 or whatever, ah, yeah, <laughs> whatever, one, yeah, yeah. Two, whatever shit, these motherfuckers yeah, yeah. were called and I, could, I, I never felt that I could dance to that shit because that, you know, I had grown up with like, when you listen to music because you want to do it like this yeah. and then I found hip hop and I could do it there but at the same point I was just listening to, you know, only hype kind of shit yeah. until my, my cousin took me aside and presented me to Common and Talib Kweli yeah. and these motherfuckers and then, you know, my brain just exploded, I was like, Fuck! Up. You can do this with hip hop. I remember being like 13, 14 year olds and just you know listening to a common song and then trying to write the exact same thing <laughs> as he is. Really? Like, hey. And it was whack as fuck. Obviously, you get rap genius nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> straight up, straight up. But but what's popping right now for me, to be honest, is actually the female fucking MCs yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who are you know in the game right now. It feels like hip hop got saturated. There is a lot of guys talking about weed. There is a lot of guys talking about guns in an, you know, in an uncreative way. But then you have Silvana Imam in Sweden. Yeah. You have Princess Nokia that we already shout out to. Yeah. You have Kenny Arcana actually who's Yeah, Kenny Arcana was one of the actual <laughs> like, that made me go into hip hop. Like, you know, like well, I knew French and I could like get like eighty percent of her lyrics. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like and she's fucking amazing. Like Kenny Arcana is like the fucking Hardest motherfucker. Over Straight up, country. right? Yeah. Straight up. And then you had like, you know, Queen Latifah and Lauren yeah. Hill, obviously, who in my fucking, like, Lauren Hill is the best MC who's ever been there. Like, you know, you take anybody from your top one <laughs> and go against Lauren Hill, you're gonna lose. Uh, well, you're gonna you lose, no? Get, no, no, I just feel like, I just feel like that's a part of hip hop that, inshallah, is gonna pop. Like, our manager always says that the future of hip hop is female. Yeah. And I kind of hope that, you know, she's right. Because they're just doing something differently. Are you feeling certain? No. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, but where are we? You know? <laughs> but fair enough, why not? <laughs> no, but I'm, you get what I mean? I'm getting, yeah, straight up. No, it didn't make sense. Like, I mean, no, but yeah. to tell different stories that hasn't been told and to, like, to see things in other perspectives, I think it's just, it's going to be... Like we want to see things in a, in like and change shit. That's like, the thing, right? That something new and a new way of saying it, and and you know a new way of, of of being actually. Yeah, but that's never been there like until now. It's like, boom! Now it's just yeah. straight up. Yeah, straight up. Like, I don't know, but more like I don't know. Right now, I was like a couple of weeks. I was like, or like no more, like listening to Arca. This like guy who's been working with Bjork and and like he wasn't. Kanye's Jesus album as well. <laughs> like I don't know. For me, just it was like a month. I was like, "Fuck, this is insane!" Like just like sitting in SoundClouding all his shit and just like drugging that thing. Like, ooh, like the sounds is just like he's making MIDI sound like a fucking I don't know Steinway piano or like whatever. <laughs> it's like you know he made MIDI into something really beautiful, which <laughs> I think is is I don't know. I like I like a lot that with like when you sit and make digital music. It's like so easy that people are like creating all these like slick sounds and shit and they, they try to like to just make it into this industry standard where it's like well but you're sitting in MIDI files and just making computer music like use that shit. Mm. I don't know, that's uh, No no straight up, like stand by it instead yeah. of you know trying to, to make a copy yeah. of what it should sound like. Or like drill hi hats. Yeah. Someone should write an essay about that. <laughs> Why are people doing that thing? Tradition has been done already. Yeah. That's my phase. <laughs> That's my phase right here. Uh, straight up, straight up. No, but why is it there? It's like a cancer. Yeah. It's <laughs> straight up. And like, or like an epidemic. No one knows where it came from, and everyone's like, "Oh, this is so nice." And, yeah. like, and it sounds. When you think about it, when you hear an it's album terrible. full of with like drill hi hats on every fucking tracks, yeah. you want to kill yourself yeah, again. Yeah, You don't like know why it's, you have it's this like hard. I like it. I'm like, oh, this is. So <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to kill that shit, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Somebody has to kill that shit. Yeah, I won't do it. How about from like from a writing perspective though, or I don't know, from a from an MC perspective, I know that you guys don't particularly fuck with him, but I feel like Nick Fu, you know, <laughs> yeah, who's yeah. out of Paris right now as well. I just don't I only catch fifty, you know. I say I maybe catch only seventy <laughs> or sixty or something. <laughs> I catch all like, of it and I'm like no. I don't know, the dude is good and like he's got fucking great technique, I'd say. That's the thing, he can sing, you know, he can, he can do that out-of-tune, wavy shit, yeah. he can go straight boom-bap, 
he but can... a lot of that is really into to the the codes we were talking before like i mean I don't you just think he's repeating things? I don't feel like he's bringing shit load of different stuff. But I, we're not, why am I dissing <laughs> <laughs> you, You're gonna cut that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just feel like from an MC, per, and maybe this comes back to, to the women perspective that I had. Personally, as a rapper, I would like to aspire to a point where I could do a lot of different stuff. Yeah. So that but you're also multifaceted, man. Like you're rapping, like you have fucking different personas almost. almost already, but I feel like you know this is the start. This yeah. is what I got that I really couldn't control myself. Like yeah. different languages, uh, different voices, whatever, different ways of pronunciating because of different languages. Yeah. But then, like you know, have motherfuckers like Lauren Hill, yeah. who you know, in, just to take the most generic track in, in Fuji Lap, yeah. she sings the best fucking hook, and then strictly from the hook, she goes into the illest fucking laid back boom bap shit verse you've ever seen. Yeah. And it's like, that's the kind no, of. But she has like, you know, the spectrum is just inside. That's just what I aspire to, you know, that's what I feel like Nick Fur can do as well. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the other people only have two or three things that they can do max no, if yeah. they're lucky. In and that, that perspective, yeah. That's the right thing. Up. Yeah. You have motherfuckers, you listen to an album, eight different tracks, they sound different in a good way yeah. on all of them yeah it's like whoa no, no no but i get you like that's also the other thing like it's hard to make a good album or like you know <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's great <laughs> something something <laughs> and others think it's really great <laughs> uh, yeah. i feel like silvana imam also has you know without putting her in a pedestal like lauren hill yeah she kind of has, you know, the same. She can go really hard sometimes. Yeah. She can go really mellow and almost. But she sing. has this like poetry sh or like exactly. poetic shit that, yeah, that yeah, she's yeah. like. I think that makes her stand out a lot. There's like so few people who are, like she's like she's not like the streets or like maybe, what's, no what's his like name? Uh, Mike Skinner. Uh, Mike Skinner. He's not like she's, she's not like Mike Skinner, but she ha he has to, she has this like different way of not like just doing rap. Straight up. I don't know. Straight up. No, I don't understand it, but it's... <laughs> I like it a lot. I what was this You're the ball woman that Jonas showed us? Akena or something like that. Uh, who was that? She, who did that what, Where They At track. Fucking dope music video as well. Like the music video where everything is handheld. Like yeah. you see her hood in You're the Ball. You see the car driving off a bridge to start with. Fuck, I, like I don't remember them. No, nah, she's blowing out right now. She's, she has the same fucking shit as well. You know, she can do a lot of different things. Yeah. Uh, and she's not boring, yeah. which a lot of... No, but I think that's the thing. Like, some, some people are like, no, but we need to understand, like, what's your thing? Uh, and I don't know, I get that. But if I'm really interested in something and I think what they're doing is, has a purpose and is meaningful, like, well, you know, let's go. Let's go, you yeah. know. Uh, we need to know you're, you're the group that makes this. Yeah. Like, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> Young Lean and Blady and that shit, like the Drain and, like, Shield Gang and what they do. Like... <laughs> well, that's, like, well, that's, I, I, I really that, like they're really fucking good musicians, but I think like, come on, let's have it gets change. boring at yeah. some point, right? That's the thing. Well, they also no? pioneer. They, they also pioneer they, that shit in a it, really exact, like. That's uh, the thing. Like, like it uh, gets boring, but at the same time, they cannot. At least for me, they cannot. The first one, at least in let's say Europe, that hmm. came up with shit like that. And no, no, no but the I, last I, album of Younglin is just. I don't know, I'm, I'm still like, I'm, I'm still yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still <laughs> ah, I listened to that shit for three months, like repeat on my. Seriously? Head, but, uh, what do you I get mean, out of What do you get out of it though? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. It's, it, I'm not. I'm not even. I've been a better man. I've been a better man. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. It's just no, kind it's of. No, it's just know. honestly, like okay, yeah, of course, there's the auto tune thing, like, but honestly, it's well played. It's well produced. Lyrically, yeah, uh, and isn't it's not. It's not Rambo, but yeah, and the vibe is like. Most of it is really mellow, and like, of course, not all of the, all of the songs I'm fucking with, but like songs like Fire or shit, it's just like, I don't know, they did this just sing Fire, but he says it in a way that works. <laughs> I'm sorry, that works no, for but me. It's the, uh, to me, it's like the whole it's, bleak vibe of Yeah, like, it's a the, really like, good album. And the whole honest. digital, like, uh, you know, the, all that, yeah. I, that I can understand, that, that, that is like, that I'm really attracted to in some sense, but on the other hand, like, uh, but I can't make that. Uh, but would you me. want to make it though? No, no that's no, the no, thing, no, I wouldn't no, no, make I would that. Never want I wouldn't make, make that, but I, I, but I appreciate what yeah. they do. Okay. 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 I like it. Cool. I, gotta go, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go home and you know. <laughs> 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 We're not gonna make young people. We're not gonna be young <laughs> Straight up, straight up. I don't know, the other day, like yesterday, just listening with a mate and went like, just to Dizzy Rascal and like old UK, hmm. like garage hmm. things. 
Uh, let's take a look at here. Straight up. Like, straight I don't know, up. like there's some like some drums, some way of producing like this really like not techno-ish, but like this super like narrow way of producing. I was like, was this on the radio? Like did people listen to this? It's like like all the time it's like where is the dynamic for pop songs that people needed like mm. a bit of singing la, la, la. but this was just like hard fucking shit straight up man straight that was on the radio like yeah. I was like people were listening to it mainstream wise and it's coming back right now like you know UK needs to come back UK needs to come back hard yeah, yeah, yeah. now to be honest though like seriously it's like but they've disappeared like it's just like Skepta Stormzy and like nah yeah. Yeah, well, they got golden albums yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying like they, they are here they are here but like I don't know, we see little, like, I haven't... Scott Garcia is, a, is in the come up. The mm-hmm. guy who just came up with, like, it's a London thing. Like, yeah, it just, yeah, 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 it just yeah, continues, yeah, yeah. you know, seven minutes of that, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is a London thing. And, you know, it's just hard and a very, very, you know, little, whatever you say, lyrical aspect to it, but it just fucking works. And the music video looks like it's shot at fucking 82 or something, and <laughs> it just fucking works. Like, <laughs> straight up. Fair enough.